Shalom everyone, welcome. These Sabbath lessons that I am doing is for our people who haven't come into the truth as yet to realize that whatever they are worshiping is an idol and graven image. They are not worshiping our creator of heaven and earth and everything within. Hallelujah. Today, we will look at the book of Matthew chapter 3. I will not be reading the entire chapter. I will choose the most important verses to prove to you once again that Christ is not God, the creator of heaven and earth the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's imperative for you all to come to the realization of the truth and understand that there is nowhere written in Scripture where Christ said that He is God, our Heavenly Father, but rather He always lead us back to our Creator, our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example. Matthew 19, verses 16 to 17. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good Master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Okay, let us go to Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. And Yeshua, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Here it is very clear that the Most High is the one who anointed Yeshua when he put his spirit into him and he became a Christ. Christ means anointed one. Acts 5 Verse 32 says, And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Spirit, whom God hath given to them that obey him. So we can see clearly that when we obey the Most High and walk in obedience to his will, by keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments, our Heavenly Father will reward us by giving us his Spirit. The name of our Heavenly Father, our Creator, is Yahuwah. All praise, glory, and honor to the Most High, Yahuwah, for giving us revelation knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Until next time, Yahuwah's willing. Love you all. Shalom.